Okay, this is the 30th, and this is 31 days without no regular coffee. I've been going with decaf coffee. Good morning, lights. I love you. I made it 31 days. <sighs> I'm still drinking this fake coffee. I have no choice to deal with this fake coffee. Like, I seriously want some real coffee. My daughter made her, my daughter made her some good coffee this morning. She really said it really, really tastes good. And I was just dying inside. Like, oh my God, I want some coffee. So I still haven't got that desire out of me. I, I cannot believe it's going to be a day that I say, oh, I don't want any regular coffee. I just can't believe it. But I do see a difference. Like, I literally see a difference. Like, uh, my, I'm doing less limping as far as walking. And I'm moving a lot faster. But, again, I get really tired at night. So, I'm not up all night editing videos like I used to be. So, that's why you don't see, like, five or six at a time anymore. Because... Now I'm actually getting some sleep, but I seriously miss the coffee. But anyway, I just want to say good morning to you. I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I will see you throughout the day. Good morning, good morning, special spirits and lights. Oh my goodness, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful morning. Yes, and I hope that you ate a really, really good breakfast and that you're going to have an awesome day no matter what you got to do. It rather it's doing nothing, going to work, cleaning the house, being with friends and family, shopping, whatever it is. Yes, enjoy your day. I'm not doing nothing special. Yeah, I got on makeup. I'm still kind of playing around with that Lori Marcier. And I was kind of mixing and matching the eyeshadow this morning, just trying to see what I could come up with because I was watching... Um, how to get away with murder and I like the way Annalise eyeshadow looks she had like this dark dark look even though you know light colors look better on me I liked it the dark okay girl I'll be chatting with you in and out through the day so I'll talk to you in a little bit my daughter's back in the car and I'll talk to you on the next day. oh they got crispy uh crispy fish Yes, can I please have one of the crispy fish fillet uh, country basket? A fish fillet country basket? Yes. Uh, two piece or three piece? A two piece? Probably just the basket. Um, I, um I'm going to take the combo. I would like to drink with it? Yes. Alrighty, so we got two piece of uh, fish fillet country basket. Unsweetened iced tea. Unsweetened iced tea? Yes. Okay. Okay, and get me, um, give me one to, you want the fish um, basket? Like, like, you want to fish no, can you make it two? Two of the, uh, two of the, 
Yes. You want the same drink? A sweet and icy? Oh, uh, you want, no. no, different drink. The fruit smoothie. A fruit smoothie, in case you like to substitute it. They got strawberry, banana, mango, pineapple, and triple berry. Um, get me mm, pineapple. Okay, I'm going to take the pineapple. That's right. We're on a hill, so the car kind of like got stuck up there a little bit. Right here, mommy. Where are you oh, going? Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. I was going around the corner thinking I'm thinking maybe I feel like I'm at Burger King. Now you gotta drive around the corner. Okay. Does that not look super like delicious? This is like the perfect cone. This is actually gonna be my first cone from Dairy Queen. Mm -mm. What is a fan food? Okay. Well, huh, let's see if I become a fan. Mmm. It actually real soft. This it's amazing that the ice cream is so soft and not like falling apart or a big scoop go in your mouth, it's firm at the same time. Mm. I gave 35, I'm sorry, hold on. You got a penny? Seriously, this freaking ice cream cone from Dairy Queen is really good. Like the, I think the honey mustard's on the bottom. Okay. Uh, container. Thank you. Alrighty, thank you. Enjoy. Oh. oh. We was gonna stop at Waffle House earlier when we got there it was really packed and my daughter said my pineapple smoothie is the bomb mm -hmm. it's, cool. it's nice and thick It's so beautiful out here today. I was just thinking about The Walking Dead. Oh my God, that show I just can't believe them. I'm so mad with them. He much gonna um what was the what was the man name? The one they killed, the one that I don't know if he was Chinese or Oriental, the one that stand by Rick and he was um uh, yeah, the one that was in love with Maggie. The way they killed him on camera. How he took the stick with the wire on it called a Lucy and he bashed his head until oh, it was completely smushed it. to the ground and gone. He got off his body mm -hmm, and smushed it, blood everywhere. Mm. It was so terrible. And he said, anybody scream, the next person was going to die. I thought it was great. Mm -mm. It's so sad. I don't see from what the Walking Dead kind of telling us is that Rick and them team is going to finally lose and a new team is coming over to take over the Walking Dead that's what I'm thinking but if Rick and them ever ever get themselves out of the situation because they always get themselves out of the situation but I don't see that here because they really killing them off they killing off the main characters Mm-hmm. Oh, Rick ever get his hands on him. He gonna die real slow. Rick ain't gonna let him go fast. He gonna torture him. That man gonna be begging to die. And then I don't I didn't see the baby. 
Like, what happened to the baby? Where is it? Yeah, where's the baby? Because all the characters been caught. So where's the baby? Did they forget about the baby? Mm-hmm. But I saw the end. They let them go. Yeah, they can go in the end. But what they did to them before they let them go. Mm -mm. Some of them didn't make it out. And Maggie. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Is that okay? She all the pieces. It's so freaking messed up. And so freaking sad. Oh my god. The way they had to see their people die. It was terrible. Lucy. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. And did y'all see the way he enjoyed killing them? Like he really, really was enjoying himself. He been wanting him to hurt Rick for a long time. And keeping Rick alive is hurting him more than just killing him. They ain't got no way out. Nowhere to run. Like, it's like eyes in the hills. You got eyes everywhere. I don't know how I can't see. How they gonna make it out of this one? It's terrible. I can't wait to watch that next episode, but I'm sad, you know? Okay. Let's see what Burger... Oh, did I say Burger King? Let's see what Dairy Queen is working with. It smells good. It's fish and chips, which is french fries. And it's a fish. Almost like chicken, but I can see the juice coming out, so I know it's fish. And we got toast. Mmm. Okay. Mm. 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 You ever go to a game, like a basketball game? Or. Maybe something for the kids at school. You know what those fries taste like when you go to the concession stand? <laughs> you get fries in the cup. Mm. What's this? It's the honey mustard? It must be barbecue. Okay. Can you put barbecue in the bag? I don't know. Where's the honey mustard? He gave you honey mustard at the bottom. I don't see it. Any light? Oh no, no, here it's on. Mm -hmm. Well, I can see why. They made us pay for it. Mm -hmm. It's a nice drive. It's still cheaper than McDonald's. <laughs> so McDonald's you go to, and you ask for a barbecue, they were talking about fifty cents. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, good. You want to try it? What's this thing? Is this? This don't look good at all. It's tartar sauce. Oh, tartar sauce. Oh. The only time I can eat tartar sauce is when I buy it from the grocery store. And it's small dry. And I don't keep it too long.
like when I buy food from places that have tartar sauce or mayonnaise, I don't like the mayonnaise or tartar sauce. I don't know. I'm just feel weird about it because I feel like is it really fresh? You know? How long they had it. This fish is nice and thick. I wonder what kind of fish is this. It must be cod. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's cod. Mm. That's real big. I kind of like my fish skinny, like thin. <laughs> but it's got a lot of meat in it. Me and my daughter, I'm quite, it's on our way. Me and my daughter's on our way to go check my P.O. box. I'm hoping it's something unique in it and good. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, then so we're going to the movies. We're going to go see two movies today. We're going to shoot for it. Depending on how I feel and how she feel. Or she's sick. She don't feel good at all. Mm -hmm. But we got tickets that's going to expire. We used to go find me. No, go find me. We used to, um, what is it, Nathan? We used to group on. And the movie is like $13 per person. And with the coupon, it's only $5. And the kid ticket is $8. Oh, it's definitely worth it. When we got the coupon when we first came to Texas, I bought the book for like $30. That's how we found out about it. Yeah. Mm hmm And we got a lot of good meals with discounts. It has really helped us over the years. And we never had to rebuy it. Now, I usually have a desire for bread and toast. But I don't know if it's the, um, because the fish is really bready. Yeah, I don't think it go right. Yeah, yeah, it don't, because the fish is too bready. Oh, maybe not want to eat it. But look at this big fish here. This is too big. And I have to save it. I'm gonna give it to my son. It's too, it's too big. Um, I want them people like I love seafood, but I'm not a seafood lover. That's so different. Like I think I'm a fake seafood lover. I think I'm a fake sis. I'm a fake seafood lover. Let me tell you why. Because I don't eat crawfish. I want to eat certain type of crab. <laughs> and I hate fishy fish. Like fish that smell real strong. I can't eat all types of fish. Now seafood lover. They do the oysters. Is oysters or clams the same thing? Yeah. They do the oyster clams, oysters, um, octopus, fish. 
and some more stuff. Lizard. Mm. Ew. Lizard. Wait, is lizard? Lizard. Wait a minute, this is not a fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They do shark. They do it all. Mm mm. I hope my grandbabies are going trick or treating. Mm-hmm. I mean grown people. Custom. Okay. When you walk inside stores or you out and about, grown people are walking around and they custom. And I'm glad it's during the day. Cause I freak out. I'd be like, what the freak is wrong with that person? And we drive no top lane? Mm-mm. I ain't never been one. I didn't even celebrate it when the kids were younger. Like, when they were little in this school and they had to have a costume, I did that. I took some trick-or-treating, but... When they were going all out for Halloween, I don't mess with that. Because Halloween is not even supposed to be a spooky-type holiday. It was really originated, I believe, to celebrate the dead, the people that left, the people that died, but then they turned it around. <laughs> mm. And then, <laughs> and then I don't like my granddaughter. She think I'm nuts. I don't like to see Santa Claus in no red suit. Because I feel like the world's so twisted that Santa Claus looked like this big, jolly, happy person when actually he might be the devil in the red suit. <laughs> um. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. And then people go out here and they spend they rent money, light bill money, one paycheck from being homeless for Christmas. And how they start making you feel bad? Josh being standing across in his red suit everywhere. The devil in disguise. <laughs> but don't listen to me. Y'all know I'm crazy. <laughs> uh -uh. And don't feel bad. And we can't do a whole bunch of Christmas shopping. And get a whole lot of gifts. Mm -hmm. It's better to give than receive. But at the same time, God don't want you homeless. He don't want you without lights. He don't want you hungry and stressed out over no credit card bill. That is not something God wants for you. So, when you start feeling bad about Christmas, think about your situation. If it's going to put you in a bad spot where well, you got to start begging people to work with you, Borrow money, taking from Peter to pay Paul, or trying to do something wrong for the right reasons. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Now, if you can do it, have at it. You got the money, and, you, and that's something that you do. You love celebrating. Do your thing. But I'm just saying, for those out there, because I was a single mom the majority of my motherhood. I was married, but I've been divorced now 18 years. And as a single mom, I did the best I could for my children. I'm tell you what I did, though. I rewarded them the best way I could, and I did for them. I didn't give my kids just gifts once a year. I rewarded them, and whenever I wanted to feel good or make my children feel good, I did for them. I didn't wait till Christmas, so when Christmas came around, it wasn't even a big deal to them at all. As a matter of fact, 
or if there was rewarded from friends and family with money or whatever, we waited till January till all the sales happened, and then we went shopping. As far as trying to have like everything on Christmas, we don't do that. No. But for everybody who does, you know, hey, hey, do your thing. Enjoy. But I did. I enjoyed my Dairy Queen. Mm. It's a freaking huge iced tea. Like, this is nice on one of them hot days. This is what I need when I ate that daggone spicy Korean extreme hot noodles. Let me tell y'all, y'all, I probably never eat noodles again. I don't know. I got a comment saying, oh my God, it's going to burn when it come out the other way. With the crying face. You ain't lying. <laughs> you ain't lying. Yes, indeed. <laughs> but yep. See you in a little bit. From the Mississippi down to the East, gotta hear Biggie Small speak.